eight days ago we set this double brood chamber colony up with the queen in the bottom box with relatively new foundation that had been drawn out um, over the last six weeks, queen excluder and the rest of the brood above separated from the queen so she can't lay any more eggs up there but still in contact for the pheromone. Now the idea was to come back today and to open up again and check that there are no queen cells in both boxes and if there are destroy them and to make use of the fact that none of the remaining brood in this top box is now usable to raise queen cells from. Now Today we're, we're going to take that situation and we're going to go on to this scenario. Whoops, here we go. <laughs> we're going to go to what we originally referred to as the cell raising um, format. We're going to put the box with the um, brood that can no longer be used to raise queen cells on the floor. We're going to separate it with, in this case, uh, instead of a feeder, two supers. We're going to put a dummy floor above the supers and we're going to have the queen in her box on the top. Free to fly, because this will be an open floor here uh, for the bees to fly out, but not many bees will actually fly off other than foragers uh, to return to the bottom box. We're going to leave it in that scenario um, for at least four hours. In this bottom box here, I'm going to leave a gap in the middle. I'm going to take one frame out, probably also the uh, dummy board, so that there's a nice gap in the middle for all of the young bees to cluster and festoon waiting for something to, to uh, build out into queen cells and we'll provide them with the, uh, with the uh, ammunition to work on this afternoon uh, by taking a frame out of here that the Queen's just been laying on and grafting some young grubs, 12 to 24 hour old grubs, um, into the Queen rack that we raised and made up the last time we did this video. And we're going to move that and drop it in there for them to work on overnight. Okay, that's where we're at this morning. We're going to set the two brood boxes up as here. It's a bit nippy and there's a bit of a breeze. It's a very slight northerly breeze, isn't it? Yeah. It's so got a bit um, of a chill to it. I'm going to try and speed up my process. I've got to go through frame by frame, as you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they'll, they'll have to put up with it. You can see they're um, they're frustrated not really being able to get out to forage. Yeah. But there is plenty of forage around. I've had a, a look at all the local trees. Yeah. I think last time you were saying about the oak trees, you were seeing them dripping, I think. Didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. In, in fact, where I was yesterday in the New Forest, the oak trees were apps, literally dripping. Really? It was, it was phenomenal. So much pollen. And That's incredible. Nectar. I put a wet super on and a, and a super with just foundation uh, to give them cluster space and what have you. Queen excluder under that. This is the box with the uh, uh, brood that's been separated from the queen. Yeah. But still in contact for the pheromone and the queen's in this box here. Now what I intend to do is dismantle this. I'll put the supers to one side on the roof. Yep. I'll move this box onto this upturned roof and I'll move the queen and her box onto that box there. Yep. I'll then check the floor to make sure the queen's not on the floor. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sod's <laughs> law says she'll stay on the <laughs> bloody floor. Um, and then when I'm happy with that, I'm going to reassemble this so that this box is on the floor. Yep. And the queen is over there 
I'll just cover her up for a while. Yeah. I'll meticulously go through each of the boxes, uh, covering them up in turn to make sure there are no queen cells. Yeah. Then this box here, I'm going to take the dummy board out and one frame yep. that I'll shake the bees off and I'll put that in storage, leave a gap in the middle. That's a space for the uh, for the young nurse bees to festoon and wait. Yeah. Because they'll start to panic that they've lost, they've the, lost the queen and the yep. pheromone. Yeah. And they've got nothing to raise another queen cell from. And then I'll go through the queen over here and her box. I'll be, I'll be looking for three things, really. One, to make sure the queen's there. Mm -hmm. Two, that there are no queen cells. If there are, destroy them. And three, identify the frame that I'm going to remove this afternoon to use as the source of my grafting. Yeah. So I'm looking for really, really young grubs. I'd like to see an arc, preferably on the frame the queen's found on, of eggs, um, 12 to 36 hour grubs. Okay. And I'll pick the youngest grubs I can get this afternoon and transfer them into that queen rack. So I'll mark that particular frame so I don't frap around this afternoon yeah. when we open up. Okay, we'll start the process. Queen's not here. So that's the, the queenless box. Right, here we go. Now remember this, this box, I need to, uh, <clears throat> I need to leave a gap in the middle. Yes. So I've got to sort out a frame that's worth removing it might actually be that one at the end of the day it's it's only partially drawn out these have hatched and there's no eggs or anything in there because the queen couldn't get up That's so they've well. started filling see that they started yeah. filling where they've hatched with nectar yeah in the middle so this, this was sort of the area where the queen last laid. The, the grubs are nearly ready for capping. See them? Yeah. And where the bees have hatched, they're filling it with nectar. See it nice and shiny. So that sort of confirms or gives us an indication the queen hasn't been back down here. Absolutely. That's a good, good sign. And no sign of queen cells so far. All around the edge, the queen's laid drone, which is a pattern I like to see. This one here is full of um, nicely packed pollen. So it's on the extremities of the, of the brood nest. No queen cells? No, very, uh, very pleased with that. And no queen? <laughs> and no queen, which I'm pleased with in this instance. I could actually get away with not having to take out a frame. A little reasonable gap there. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll leave a, I'll leave a gap for the queen cells in the middle. I'll just leave out the uh, dummy board. Now, having done that, I'm going to reassemble this straight away. Yeah. And when we come back this afternoon, I expect to see a festoon of young bees in there. Just in that gap, yeah? Yeah, they're, they'll be quite concerned by the time we get back because they will have been without contact with the queen pheromone for a while. They'd have had a look around all the frames and there'll be no source of grubs usable for raising queen cells, so they'll be quite panicky. Yeah. 
Okay, now we can leave them there for a minute and we'll go and check out where the queen is. <coughs> now the object here, I've got a, an ordinary crown board here and I've got a lump of uh, hardboard on top of it to block off the the uh, vents or the bee, bee porter slots and I've got a, an old eek that I make up made up myself with a couple of nine mil or slightly bigger than nine mil holes drilled in it yep. which I normally plug with a couple of dowels so I can use it as, a, as an, eek. an eek but in this instance it's got another purpose it's going to be used as a temporary floor yeah. so what I'm going to do here when I made sure there's no bees there actually I don't need to do that I could use that one oh yeah there's already one there yeah, yeah. so I'll just use the eek I should make sure that faces does that is it critical it faces the same way as should the have entrance? it facing the front yeah because the bees will there will be foragers in there that yeah. will need to go out so they we don't want to put them under stress no so allowing them to free fly is the uh, is the key is the key and that also blocks the pheromone from the queen doesn't it yes going down so that absolutely means yeah they raise them up now notice something here because this had um, a queen excluder between them the two boxes there's quite a lot of drone stuck here on the top side see yeah, that yeah yeah um, so the, these drones are at least eight days old <laughs> because <laughs> they've been stuck up there for eight days <laughs> but they're going to be allowed to go free now now remember this one the object is to obviously find and destroy any queen cells find and identify that the queen is here yeah and identify the frame that i will use this afternoon as a source for my grubs so i'm looking for basically the frame that the queen has just been working on oops oh, yeah. there is a queen cell yeah. at the bottom and i think it's charged a couple actually yeah two three three i'm not going to destroy them <laughs> no because that would be not yet that would be foolish let's find the queen Ooh, another one yes so they're certainly ready to raise queen cells, but we want them to do it our way. I can see young grubs, but I can't see any eggs. I'll have to come back and look at that. There was another queen cell at the bottom there, and it's nearly capped. It's quite an very, advanced one, isn't it? Yeah, very nearly capped. We, mm, we might be near the point where they were just about to... Uh, leave leave with a swarm let's we'll see now on this side there's a lot more pollen yeah so this could be the end of the brood nest i don't know i hope they haven't attempted to swarm already because the queen was clipped and marked you see so she would have dropped to the uh but these would have returned so yes. you can't really tell by numbers can you exactly see what might have prompted that is the fact that we've restricted the laying area that yeah. the queen has artificially. Because that all those areas that were being filled with uh, nectar and the other one, she would have normally relayed. Yeah, that's true. So there's a bit of um, pressure coming to bear on this part of the colony. She might be on one of the outer frames there, preparing to actually... Uh, they sort of move forward, don't they? Leave, yeah. Although the weather's... In this instance, the weather's in our favour. Mm. Because they would not really want to uh, issue us a swarm in this sort of temperature, I don't think. There she is. Top right-hand corner there. She's just... Oh, yes. So she's there. 
She hasn't gone yet, but she looks a bit thin. She's being uh, thinned down, isn't thinned she? Thinned down, yeah. Not really what we wanted, but now I can concentrate on um, removing the ones that are there. removing the queen cells and finding a batch of grubs that I want to use this afternoon. I'm wondering. I think I might actually cage the queen for a minute. She is. Come on, darling. There you go. She's okay. So now I've got my queen. I'm going to go through these. I'm going to put them up there and I'll shake them Over in the, there. In the yeah. position. Nothing in that. Oh, look at that lovely oh, raw yeah. jelly. Actually, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to save it because I can prime the um, I can prime the queen cups with it this afternoon. What have you got there? I've got a couple of oh, pipette. pipettes, oh. which will suck it up. <laughs> Never waste it. Yeah, it's good if you can prime the cells. Even better. Even better. So what I'll do is uh, I'll take it out wholesale and I'll suck the uh, royal jelly out from that. Uh, in just a moment? In just a moment. Are they caps? These are caps. Oh, they're caps as well down the other end, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some nice... Uh, Queen cells there. That one cat, one cat. One's damn well capped, yeah. So these are very close to... Yeah, they were very close to actually swarming. So you're not, not being able to get to them for the last eight days, mm. <laughs> being away camping. You can't have a private life as a beekeeper, you know. No. <laughs> There's some pretty young ones here, but they're not not as young as I want. Oh, hang on, there's eggs. Ah. There are eggs there. Very difficult to see in this light. I think this is probably good enough here. There, there are some that are just beginning to curl, which is what I'm looking for. Yeah. So. That could be our That's thing. one. I'll, I'll check one more. I'll have to brush the bees off before we go and do it, you see? Yeah. I might actually have to brush the bees off two frames to do this. Okay, so it's the fifth and the sixth. Um, we will go with. Yeah. They're the ones I'm going to take. So I'm going to close them down, put the queen back, Remember to put the queen back. There you go. It's almost like a retinue setting up around her, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's been clean, away yeah. from them for about 10 minutes and they th it's like she's been away for a lifetime. And they'll be getting that pheromone from her as well, won't they? Oh, that's it? right, yeah. The message will be getting out soon. The this queen is, is here. Way. Now remember the, the lower box, the lower box, which will be collecting all these flying bees now, away from this box, um, has been without the queen all that time. So that they are now beginning to panic down there. Mm. This lot have just come out from panic mode. Come on, girl, go down. I, I want you to go down before I put the top on. Go on. That's Here it. Goes. Good girl. <laughs> so remember, five and six. This five afternoon, six. I'll come out with the brush. Yep. And we'll, first thing we'll do is open this up, take five and six out, brush the bees off, close it down, take them inside, and we'll we'll take the grafts from the best of the grubs that are on yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we've got the the clean, freshly made queen cups. We were fortunate enough this morning to identify about six charged queen cells from the queen right part of the colony, which I have now harvested the royal jelly from. There's a grub there, anyway. 
And uh, what I intend to do now, to make our job easier to float the little grubs off, I intend to charge each of the cells with a little bit of dilute oil jelly. We should have them looking just like you would look for when you're looking for preparations by the bees. You know, you just need a, to be able to see that the, the cell is being charged. Okay, I think we've charged them all. Um, I'll keep it there because if we break one of the cells, I've got some spares here and we'll have to charge that as well. So now I need to have handy my scalpel in case I have to cut down the side of the cell to be able to get to the uh, um, larvae. <clears throat> I've got my nicely moistened and shaped toothpicks that I'm going to use to get the larvae out with and I've got my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. But if you look at this, see the, oh, bees, wow. the, the bees in the bottom are panicking. If you look at them running up and down the front, they're, they're queenless. And not only are they queenless, they're hopelessly queenless. Quite a sound coming from there, isn't it? Yeah, they're, um, they're really quite frantic now. Oh, the sun's in our favour now. I can see, yeah, there's eggs in the top section and there's larvae down here that's progressing from egg to older stages. Come on, girls, off you go. Nice and gentle. See, now a lot of these, a lot of these bees will have oriented to the bottom box. Yeah. So they will be lost to the queen right part of the colony. <laughs> first things first, I've got to get some bins on, otherwise I won't see what I'm doing. I think they've stopped the queen from laying for several days. She's definitely thin, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's grubs here, but they're too far advanced. I need to cut back a bit of this. I think they're too old. They looked younger when I looked at them. Oh wow, I wonder if I can focus on that. Yeah. See, now that's on the limit. That is on the limit. Be so careful, otherwise you damage them. Oh yeah, look at that. Already hanging in that gap. <laughs> yep, that, this is the queen right section, of course. So I'm just going to put this back. This is the uh, the big moment. where we upturn this. And we look in there and we see, look at the bees in the gap. So I'm gently, gently going to lower this in here. You should hear a change of tone when this gets in there. And they realize they've got the wherewithal to raise a new queen. So now I'm going to put the supers back on over that queen excluder and the temporary floor. Yep. And now we will put back the queen right colony. Oh bloody hell. Oh. See they can still f fly freely which removes a lot more of the stress. Yeah, they don't feel trapped. It's only going to be there for the night because tomorrow when we come back, we will 
rearrange this. We're going right. to check to see how many of the queen cells have been actually accepted. See how many more have been charged with more royal jelly and the sides of the, the uh, cells drawn out. And if it's acceptable, we'll then rearrange this so that the queen is again on the floor. Yeah. There's going to be uh, a queen excluder. Then the, um, uh, the queenless section with the graphs in will go above it. Yeah. And then the queen excluder will go on and the supers. And we're going to leave it like that for what should be 10 days from today. Yep. Or maybe nine when we look at the, the age of those grubs we had. It might be safer mm. <laughs> to actually come back in nine days, right? They'll be capped yep. and reasonably hardy, but depending on the age of the grubs we used, the, uh, the hatching date will be slightly different. Yeah. Normally it would be 10 days and then you've got a couple of days um, of leeway yeah. to give you safety. Yeah. To, time to set up your mating nukes and get them ready to take the, uh, the cells. Okay? Yeah. So uh, we'll leave this overnight and about mid-morning tomorrow we'll open it all up again, shift this to one side, the supers to one side, pull out the queen rack gently and check how many have been accepted, then put it back, rearrange the boxes so that the queen is at the bottom, um, queen excluder um, above the, uh, I'm getting mixed up, the queen at the bottom, Yep. then the, uh, the graphs above, yep. queen excluder and supers and that then is in the finishing colony mode. Yeah. And I'm not concerned if for some reason or other they decide to swarm with that queen, she is clipped. Yeah. So they're not going to go very far. No. Uh, although I would not like that to happen. Yeah. Um, because I want to try and use her for future, uh, future breeding. Mm. Is there anything that you think of not uh, covered, Josh? Uh, I don't think. I think, I think we've covered everything. I would have liked to have had some younger grubs to work with on some yeah. fresher comb, but there just wasn't any. I think they were literally slimming the queen down, ready for swarming. swarming. Yeah. So uh, she'd stop laying, basically. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put the roof back on, close them down, and leave them alone now until tomorrow. So right. we're now going to, um, looking at the stack, we're going to um, unpack the stack as we did yesterday, move the queen to one side, and we'll open up the, uh, the bottom box, which is queenless, but it's got the queen rack in. Yeah. Check that there's sufficient of them been accepted. And if there are, put it back and we will reverse the boxes again. Yeah. For the final, uh, the final um, completion of the cells. So we'll put the queen and her box on the floor, queen excluder, the box with the queen cells in. Yep. And then queen excluder and uh, the supers. I don't need the second queen excluder, but it does stop all the drones going up into, into the, the supers. Yeah, so I'll yeah. do that anyway. And then we'll leave that for what should be 10 days from yesterday, so that we've got a couple of days leeway before the cells will hatch. Yeah. Okay. Now, as some of those grubs were a little bit old, I wouldn't normally use them at that age. Yeah. Uh, but we had no option yesterday, so we'll use them anyway. Um, they may be tending to hatch a little bit early. Mm. So I've got to be really strict about Saturday next week. I am not back until Friday night, so I've got no option. <laughs> 
Now I don't need to look for the queen there because uh, she's, I'm not going to put it by the supers, bad habit that. I'm going to gently, gently bring these up. Oh wow. Well they seem to be working on all of them. They're tending to them all aren't they? That's amazing. They're paying more attention to some than others. If you look... The numbers of bees. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. No, actually, I'm not going to... Uh, so are they hanging down there? They're drawing... They're drawing that out. See that? Oh, look at that, yes. See that another one? They're, drawing, they're, they're really drawing these out. You can see where they're, they're reinforcing it as well, can't you? And there, look. The... Yeah. So... It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that they're working on. Maybe that one, I don't know. Yeah, nine. Possibly the second row of nine as well. The top ones don't seem to be doing quite so well for some reason, mm. but we'll see. They're interested in them all the same though, aren't they? Well, there's, there's, eight, there's 18 there, yeah. so that's, that's my quota yeah. covered. And... Um, oh, that's amazing. I'm quite happy with that. The only thing I'm not happy with is I would really have liked the uh, the grubs to have been a day younger than they looked. Yes. Um, so, um, but that, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We're putting the queen back in the starting position, yeah. Sorry if I squashed one or two of you girls. It's incredibly hard to... Well, it is with you, weight like that. Yeah, you can't, you can't faff about. You can't do the nice twisting practice. You've got to think about your back at the end of the day. Now, I've got to be careful that I don't have the queen on here. We oh, haven't. Yeah. No. Nope. And <clears throat> this is quite deluded of, um, of bees because a lot of them have flown off to forage and return to the bottom box, you see. Ah, yes. So, uh, not that, that many, but enough. Is that one of the other reasons for bringing that back down to the bottom? Just to get those bees yes. back into there. Well, into yeah. both boxes, actually, because they can go through there, But they, they seem quite content there. So yeah. we've got a queen now on relatively new comb. It was foundation at the beginning of the year. So what I intend to do, next week yeah I'm going to uh, use all of the frames from this box to populate some of my mating nukes yeah with with the uh, bees so I could possibly get four mating nukes out of this yeah and then still use this as a production colony in the garden. I won't get much of a crop, but I'll get enough to yeah. make it worthwhile. Yeah. And hopefully three or four good colonies as well next year. Ready? Yep. Up we go. <laughs> it's all down to coming back next Saturday and harvesting what we've got. Uh, what I would normally try and do is set up my mating nukes a couple of days before yeah. moving the cells into them, uh, which gives them a chance to start ra raising uh, emergency cells. Yeah. Then you come back, clear the emergency cells away and replace them with a nice, fresh, drawn out cell. So um, that's in the out apiaries. Yeah. But because I'm going to use the frames from the same colony, that has raised these cells, I don't have that problem. No. For those particular ones. So that four uh, nucleuses, I can put the cells into knowing that they're not gonna be torn down. Yeah. Because yeah. they're not developed here. That's it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the ones that I take out to my out apiaries, I've got to be very careful. I might have to put the, the cells in a cage yeah. to prevent them from being torn down because I'll be taking bees from one situation where they're queen right and yeah. putting them into a situation even though they're a minor uh, a minor colony in yeah. the making I'm taking them from a queen right situation to a queen cell situation 
which they may not accept. Yeah. Uh, and if that queen cell is obviously from another colony, it'll have a different set of pheromone uh, from the existing queen. Yeah. And they may object to that too. So I'll yeah. put them in a cage and hope that that helps them uh, accept the queen. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So that's it until next week.